We're currently at the airport in Amsterdam. We're getting ready to fly to Herning, Denmark for the last show of the Hot Wheels European Tour. Me and Darren are getting real comfy. This little tiny plane. Super friendly. The driver of the bus says he may not have enough room for just the seven of us. I think we'll live. For just the seven of us, they brought this thing. <laughs> Darren, they brought a bus big enough for your career. And his ego. <laughs> Or the amount of Titan Cups Ricky's won this year. Yes. What else do you do when you get a whole tour bus to just seven people? You go upstairs and get the best view. These are like... Pretty cherry. Yeah. So I don't mind if I do. So Buddha left his GoPro on the bus. So now we're going to make him do some fun things to get it back. Stay tuned. Make sure you click the button to subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> so he has arrived. Here's where the dirty deeds start. So sadly for you, to earn it back, you have to do some funny things. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, on. now you have to show the camera how to twerk. I'm gonna move the schnells. They enjoyed it. <laughs> Good morning from Herning, Denmark. It is Thursday. It's also our load-in day. It is the last weekend of our international tour for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live. I'd be lying if I said I'm not bummed, but I'm looking forward to going home to my wife and my two dogs. One more weekend, hopefully we can get through with no issues. Caught it. I rolled it over twice on the same side. That's skill. Master. Thank <laughs> you. 
She has hiccups over there right now. <laughs> She's not pleased. <laughs> We got Rebecca here going through her first form drug deal. <laughs> Lots of meat sticks, protein bars, and protein powders. Gonna give you guys a quick tour of the inside of our container we've basically been living out of truck wise since we went to Qatar in December. We have a little light switch here, the light bar. See deep into the container whenever we're loading at night. We have shelves with a bunch of extra parts, obviously like drive shaft, cage. I honestly couldn't tell you what's in each and every one of these things because a lot of it we thankfully haven't had to rip into. We still have four shows, so I probably shouldn't jinx myself, but it just did. Uh, two spare tires, one for each truck. Uh, whenever we load up, it goes tire, 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 all the way up to here. And this spot right here, we put our toolbox. Each one, oh, this crate is full. This is Darren's. Uh, this is Darren's box for his truck. It has mostly parts for number 19. Number 19 and number 15 run completely different parts, completely different chassis and motors. So they are very separate. Are the two crates we used when we went to Qatar? They're broke down and folded up, so they're stored away. We had fuel jugs that we were using, but we haven't really used them much because we have a fuel caddy here. Thanks to Craig Christensen for that one. We brought one toolbox that went to Qatar and one toolbox stayed in here. It got shipped straight to the UK while some of this stuff went straight to Qatar. We have a motor right here. It's hard to see, it's under a bunch of blankets. And we have another motor right here. We have a full set of shocks ready to go just in case anything bad happens. Uh, we have a third member, a couple of corners. We have enough, minus the raw materials of building a chassis and housings, enough to completely keep these trucks running for this international tour that we're at, thankfully about to end. Uh, we've had a great time here, but we are all ready to go home. Miss our families, miss our houses, miss a little bit of regular life, so.
last European tour show just ended here in Herning, Denmark. We're currently in our loadout process. Um, I didn't get a lot of video throughout this weekend. There wasn't a lot going on, but our European tour is over. So it's been great. We loved it, but I'm ready to go home. Good morning from Frankfurt, Germany. It is Monday. I am flying home after seven weeks on our international tour. I'm currently on a connecting flight waiting to fly to San Francisco. And from San Francisco, I'm flying to Ontario, California. We left Denmark's airport about 6.30. We left our hotel about 3. So it's already been a long morning and it's barely 8 o'clock. So I still have like two more hours till my flight even leaves. And then when I get to San Francisco, which by the way, that flight is 11 and a half hours. And then when I actually get to San Francisco, then I have a five hour layover. So there's going to be a lot of jet lag for sure. So wish me luck. I apologize for the lack of content this past weekend. There really wasn't a lot going on as far as sightseeing. And then once the show started, we had four shows this weekend. It was kind of just zone out, get the shows done. Uh, only eventful thing really was Darren rolled. Um, no big damage there. So it really wasn't an eventful weekend. We just were all kind of in zombie mode, just trying to get through. We wanted to go home and now we are. So it's been a great international tour. It's definitely been a little experience of a lifetime and I hope to come back next year but I am ready to be home. Mm -hmm.